Hi students, in this video I'll be introducing to you how do we exactly use a pair of compasses. So what is a pair of compass? A pair of compass actually makes out of this instrument in your mathematical set along with a pencil. So let me introduce to you how do we actually make this adjustment such that we can start. First of all, make sure that your pencil is sharpened. And what you're going to do is you're going to put through the hole of the compass. Push it down all the way onto the paper. Once it's done, you tighten this axle on your right. Make sure it's tight enough such that when you shake it, the pencil does not move. So there are some technical terms of a compass. Let me introduce to you. This place at the top here is known as your hinge. Followed by the one with the pencil is known as your drawing end. And lastly, at this point where by there is no pencil, it is known as a pointer end. So with this idea of the compass, next I'm going to bring you to what are the purposes of a compass. So there are two purposes of a compass. The first compass, uh, first purpose will be drawing a circle or an arc of a circle. As you can see, how I'm going to use this compass is if there is a twisting motion of this compass. So therefore, I'm able to draw a circle or I'll be able to draw an arc. So let's take a look. If I want to draw a circle of radius, I'll draw a circle of radius 5 cm. So recall from your primary school, what does the radius mean? So I'll first take my compass and I'll put the pointer end at 5 cm. And I will adjust, you see I am adjusting my drawing end such that it hits 0. So therefore I know that this length that I mark off from the ruler is 5 cm. So take it as 5 cm, I will take a look, just put the pointer end first. Then you hold on to the hinge and you make a beautiful arc over. You twist the motion so you can start from anywhere you like. You get a complete circle after this. So not releasing the pointer end, let me show to you. I will make a mark over here as the center. So the radius means that from the center to any part of the circle it will be. 5 cm and this shows that my radius is 5 cm okay next there's a second part of the use of protract uh, use of compass and the second use is actually marking off a length so for example, what does it mean by marking off a line? I draw a random line. Let's say I label this line as A, B. This line is known as line A, B. Without using a ruler, I'm going to mark off the length of A, B and draw a line that is of equal length as A, B. How am I going to do that? First, take a pointed end and the drawing end. I'll mark off the length of AB and then I will transfer this onto another line. So if I have a random line over here, I'll put a point, let's say here as X. 
I will start my with my pointer end onto X and I'll just mark off a line over here such that I will get an intersection over here so I'll label this point here as Y to confirm whether we did it correctly and accurately I use a ruler and I'll measure over here I measure that this is 7.5 cm using a ruler to make sure that I'm accurate I'll take the intersection point here and the intersection point which I just marked off which is the same as 7.5 cm alright so there's some one technique that I want to emphasize when you're using a pair of compasses is that we always hold on to the hinge and we always use the pointer end as our leverage point such that the pointer end will not move you see only the drawing end moves not the pointer end pointer end is still fixed at the same position okay i hope this video will help you thank you very much